Hi Capricorn, hope you're doing well. I hope you've had wonderful weeks. Sorry it took a while to get to you guys, but thanks for being patient with me. In my description, I have my website where if you want to check out the goods and services I provide as a shaman, at the very bottom of my uh, description, I have my Venmo and PayPal if you feel called to tip me. Personal readings, I believe I will be able to open up to new clients on October 1st. So that's what I'm planning right now. I will let you guys know um, should that change or, you know, definitely on October 1st if that's that's what we're doing. So we are going to be doing astrology deck and then uh, clarifying with a couple different decks to see what energy you guys have coming in. Okay. Let's see, what do we need to know for the Capricorn? First card out is Mars and Aries, impulsiveness. Um, Jupiter and Libra, negotiation. Egotism, Mars and Leo. Venus and Virgo, discrimination. Publicity, resistance, bottom of the deck, detachment, resourcefulness, originality, risk, endurance, status. Okay, for some of you, you are going to be kind of like... <laughs> This was similar, this kind of came out for Sag a little bit. You're gonna be blowing up when it comes to like your social status. So I don't know if you've been working on something at work or if you're just gonna be getting more attention here, but you're uh, Jupiter and um, Taurus, but it's, it's status. So I get that you are going to kind of increase in popularity, especially if for those of you that have like your own business, especially or like a side hustle, because it's Taurus is the personal possessions. So um, there's going to be expansion when it comes to your finances, how you're doing financially. And it is going to cause some people to feel skeptical of you. Um, authority is Mars and Capricorn. So you will be experiencing some aggression from others. Um, what is this? Virgo, uh, Saturn and Virgo isolation. Riches. Again, two cards of your finances are going to be increasing, Capricorn. And yeah, the sun and yeah, criticism under that. You have people that are going to be mad about it, Cap. You have people that are going to be jealous of you. So just be aware that you... <laughs> I have one, two, three cards for money coming out. And then I have two cards for like social standing coming out. So you are going to be, um, the spotlight's going to be on you, I get soon. You're going to be expanding when it comes to your uh, social status. And there's, where it's the fifth house, it might be with creativity. Some of you might be like an artist and all of a sudden you're going to just have a lot of like new cool ideas and a lot of people are going to be into them and you're going to be selling out. You know, it's like that type of energy or even at work, you're going to have a lot of cool ideas that your boss is going to love. It might get you a promotion. Eyes are going to be on you. It's that type of energy where it's going to be like, everybody's like, who is she? <laughs> What's going on with the cap? You know, and because you're going to be kind of, a lot of people are going to be looking at you. You are going to be appreciated by others. I do get that a lot of people are going to um, see that and want to, you know, connect with you, get to know you, know your secret. It, it's like you just have like a energy around you. It's just an energy. But because you're going to be expanding in that way, uh, Jupiter and Cancer, you're also going to be expanding when it comes to your foundation. So for a lot of you, you might be getting like a, a nicer car, a bigger house, and people are going to be like speculating about you. What What's going on with the Capricorn? Why is all of a sudden the Capricorn doing so well, making so much money, you know, it, it's like you're just going to be attracting attention and jealousy. You're going to have people that are going to be critical of you, especially because it's sixth house of Virgo when it comes to your day to day. So it's, it's just like a energy of jealousy, Capricorn. 
I get that it's going to be like people kind of questioning you, questioning, you know, who, who does the Capricorn think that they are? Why does the Capricorn all of a sudden have all this confidence and, you know, uh, buying nicer clothes, you know, it, it's like a, there are just karmics around you that are going to be jealous. A lot of them, um, might even try to, uh, go against you here with Mercury and, um, Scorpio. That's like the, uh, occult secrets trauma. So you might even have people coming like from your past that were abusive to you in the past, caused trauma towards you in the past, or even like talk shit about you in the past. Um, the eighth house is also the occult. So you might have people that tried to cast spells against you in the past. Now seeing you come into success, seeing you um, do well for yourself, and they're going to be jealous and they're, they're going to try to like stir up shit. But under that is Saturn and, um, in the eighth house inheritance. So it's like <laughs> the Capricorn is getting money and attention, status, you know, wealth. You're kind of going to be blowing up here soon. And the people that went against you in the past that tried to turn people against you in the past they're going to be experiencing karma. So inheritance, your the karma for the Capricorn and the karma for the enemies of the Capricorn are going to be hitting all of a sudden. So you're going to be taking off and the people that tried to harm you, especially through like the occult trauma, um, secrets, people that secretly tried to go against you, tried to harm you, especially this is kind of like, I mean, it, it's extremism. So it's like the people that like, some of you have experienced like abuse. You've been traumatized by people. These abusers tried to talk shit about you. They tried to run whole smear campaigns against you. Some of them um, turned to black magic against you. Those people are going to be experiencing their karma. So it's like if there was any resistance before to your, um, especially when it comes to how others felt about you. Somebody has been doing magic um, and if it, it's not like literal spells, they were doing evil eye energy and like, they were like a word, witch, a word wizard where they would watch you closely and anything that they could say, oh, this person, you know, um, the Capricorn doesn't deserve this. The Capricorn is a terrible person. Nobody likes the Capricorn. You know, this is somebody that was just running around trying to hurt your public image. If you have experienced any resistance when it comes to your fifth house, especially, so this is like casual encounters. This is fun going out, meeting people casually. Um, it also like can be like luck. Eighth house is um, other people's money. So eighth house is more like, you know, like winning the lottery, like, like big, money uh fifth house is kind of like is gambling in a way but it's more so like uh you know a penny machine type gambling like you know just having like um small small instances of luck uh the fifth house is leo house it's like the fun house so it, it's you know just having like fun enjoying your time you know being carefree a lot of you have had a lot of resistance when it comes to that and you've been kind of isolated especially when it comes to the sixth house, it's like you can't really enjoy your time, go out and have fun because you've been too busy like focusing on work and sixth house is like day-to-day -day stuff. So it might've even been that some of you were struggling with like keeping up with your like daily chores, you were struggling with keeping up at work. And it's because um, for a lot of you, you had dark energy around you, you know? Um, somebody might have been like doing like jinxes or hexes on you to where like you were like feeling drained and you know your your house was getting messy and you were struggling at work like I said and, and you were just you are going to go and it's like a, a snap thing where you're going from feeling kind of bogged down with day-to-day -day stuff and with a six house you might have been having like health issues you might have had a hard time taking care of yourself you might have been like putting on weight or you know struggling with like you know your skin breaking out for a lot of you, it's, it's somebody was going, you know, to like a practitioner trying to, trying to harm you. And if not that, it was like you were under a lot of stress and pressure. Um, 
regardless, regardless of that, you are going to um, see your karmic rewards for sun in the eighth endurance. Somebody might be, uh, <laughs> this is just like a, a Leo <laughs> energy though. <laughs> Or some of you are like, is this person a Leo that you're dealing with? Are you gonna choke put the Leo in a chokehold? <laughs> a Scorpio Leo that you're gonna have to choke out, <laughs> take out. <laughs> okay, it's heavy. Uh, whoever this person went against you, I get heavy Scorpio. Okay. <sighs> It's like the tables are gonna turn. The person that has been going against you and draining your energy and, you know, while you were suffering, this person was kind of, you know, going around and making friends off of like, oh, I don't like the Capricorn. You don't like the Capricorn either. Let's be besties. You know, um, that person, if it was 11-11 when I said that, some of you might have had that happen. It's like you have people that are jealous of you ganging up against you, you know, forming friendships off of their jealousy of you. Um, regardless of that, whoever, <laughs> sorry, for some of you, it is Leo. That there's a, <laughs> you're either dealing with a Leo or a uh, Scorpio. Maybe, you know, there's Leo and a Scorpio. Um, I even get here, Capricorn, that you had like a, a relationship that was ruined because of somebody talking shit about you. You had to kind of just um, detach. You've been like had, you've been single and just kind of like, I get an energy where you haven't really been getting out. You're just kind of like working a lot. Just, you know, you might've been, like I said, anxious, having a hard time. Um, keeping up with your day-to-day -day stuff. You've just felt really bogged down. But regardless, regardless, somebody has been trying to start drama. <laughs> somebody has been trying to hurt your image. This is somebody that is really egotistical. It's somebody that's kind of like obsessed with themselves and they saw you as like competition. They saw your potential and they saw you as competition. So it's like... Um, I get the tables are about to flip and it really comes from the fact that it's karma. It's heavy karma here. I have, um, karma for <laughs> the Capricorn, karma for the Scorpio and maybe even karma for an Aries here, but it's because you kind of, you face down the bear and this is, gives me uh, the full card. You just let the baggage go. Rather than try to, you know, go toe to toe with this turd, you just, you know what? I'm just gonna move on with my life. I'm just going to move forward here. And because you kind of moved forward and went into hermit mode basically because the, uh, the hermit is Virgo and Tarot, I get that you've just kind of been isolated for a long time and you've just been focused on yourself and working. And for a lot of you, you've dealt with a lot of heavy energy. Um, you are going to see that all of a sudden the tables are going to turn where it's like you are Mr. or, Miss, or Mrs. Popular. Like everybody wants a piece of the Capricorn. Again, for a lot of you, you have um, money coming in. I get that you have, um, and it's like, publicity too. So it's like, um, I don't know if, if maybe like you have a side hustle, you have a business that involves social media, that's going to kind of blow up. I just get that you're going to have a lot of attention on you and you're going to have a lot of opportunities to kind of get out and have fun. It's like any restrictive energy that you've felt when it comes to um, socializing or just kind of enjoying your life and living carefree, you're going to just feel all of a sudden that like a, a rush off of you. 
And as this happens, it's like literally that um, Saturn restrictive energy is going to flip onto the people that tried to harm you. And when this happens, they are going to, uh, you know, double down on we hate the Capricorn. Why is the Capricorn winning all of a sudden? What's going on with the Capricorn? They might even try to, you know, go back and get more spells done. But I get that, you know, it's over. It's over. Also, <laughs> some of you are going to be heading into a relationship soon. You have kind of been in a mode where you've just detached from relationships altogether. You uh, had these people obviously trying to, um... <laughs> I just can't, can't, I can't unsee this uh, sun in Scorpio, but it's um, them wrestling the lion. Are you dealing with... <laughs> Because I have so many Leo cards and so many Scorpio cards. And then it's just funny that in the Scorpio card, it's like, are you dealing with a Scorpio and a Leo and they're going to battle it out? I don't. <laughs> if you are dealing with a Scorpio and a Leo, do not let the Scorpio get into the room with the Leo because they are going to want to attack. <laughs> okay. You have detached from relationships. You've just kind of decided, I'm going to pull back. I'm just going to focus on myself. I have all of this dark energy around me. I'm just going to uh, do me, basically. But uh, Virgo and Capricorn Venus here. Because you have transformed, because you have um, focused on yourself, you are going to be attracting people that, that want a relationship with you, Capricorn. You're going to um, expand when it comes to, so not only you are expanding when it comes to your fifth house and your seventh house. So fifth house is casual encounters, seventh house is like long-term partnerships. So it's like you're going to be going out, dating, having fun, um, you know, spending time with friends, and you're going to be meeting people that are going to be potential like lifelong partners when it comes to, you know, romance, friendship, or even business. But discrimination is needed here because... Um, in order to get from the fifth house to the seventh, you have to go through the sixth house and the Venus is here. So for some of you, you are gonna be dating around and you do need to kind of discriminate against who you want to invite into your life because as you um, come into this wealth, come into this attention, you are going to be attracting people that are egotistical, you know, that are looking to get with the Capricorn because you're the next hot thing here. And you do run um, a risk of once you feel this pressure off of you and you start to do well when it comes to your finances and your, um, uh, basically how other people see you, it, it's going to all of a sudden flip. Make sure that you're not being impulsive when it comes to feeling like you have to uh, protect yourself. Because like I said, these people that went against you before, they're going to be up in arms when you start to come into success and they're seeing their karma. So they're going to start to, you know, again, spread lies about you. Go tell people that, you know, they're the ones that did magic before to isolate you, to block your opportunities, to create chaos in your life. So when that goes back on them, they're going to start saying that, you know, you did that to them. They're the victim, you know, Cap not Capricorn, uh, karmics, people that abuse others are always the victim. So don't feel the need to um, defend yourself when it comes to them, because I get that people are going to kind of see them as the losers that they are, the gossips that they are. Yeah, justice. You might be dealing with a, a Libra. You're going to get justice. 
for the stalling that you had to deal with. For some of you, it's a, a six of cups. It's someone from your past is coming back. A soulmate is coming back towards you. It might have been a situation that, you know, this person was influenced to move away from you because of this gossip that was going on or because there was energy around you that... Um, People were doing magic on you to isolate you from others, but there was a snake that came in between a divine relationship here. It might be that you're coming back together with a Libra too, or this is, this is the seventh house. So it can be a Libra, or again, this is somebody that you're going to have a long-term relationship with, possibly Mary. <sighs> Nine of Pentacles, um, Six of Cups. They were stalled coming back towards you because of um, somebody was, there was dark energy around you, Capricorn, whether this be um, spell work, evil eye, or just somebody, you know, going all out with the gossip. You've had people trying to interfere and keep you isolated, basically, especially if this is like a, a scorned ex, you know, they, they want to keep you single. They want to keep people away from you. But I get that you kind of took the time where you were isolated and really put your focus on yourself and, you know, improving yourself. That's the thing. Yeah, five of wands, hermit. What did I say? You went hermit mode when they tried to create chaos in your life. You just pulled back and, and stuck to yourself. And that's the thing is a lot of karmic people, they don't want to heal. They're not, the, uh, some of them will never heal. They're just going to remain karmic for the rest of their life their uh, motivations in life are very ego-based. Attention, you know, glamour, money, sex, um, that's all that they care about. So they, um, they have a limited understanding of how the world works. Their views are, if I take away the attention, if I take away, you know, if I hurt this person's finances, if I do spells on this person to make them gain weight, if I make people find them unattractive, if I, you know, isolate them from everybody, uh, they're going to crumble because I would. They don't understand that somebody um, that wants to heal, somebody that's divine, um, it's almost like being isolated is a blessing because you get to come back home to yourself. So it's like, these people tried to create conflict, Mars in the first house, when it comes to how you were viewed by others, thinking that it would affect how you view yourself. But instead, you went hermit mode. You, the hermit is the monk. You travel to the mountains to look for the star. You look for yourself. You look for your purpose. And you found that. So it's like <laughs> their idea of crumbling, you know, the Capricorn was to isolate you and make you feel unwanted. But the thing is, is Capricorns are the goats. You are never going to keep a Capricorn down because Capricorns are ruled by Saturn. They're used to restrictions. They're used to delays. They're used to things being difficult. And the Capricorns will continue to climb the mountain. You know, you see the goats out on the mountains that it's like, how is that goat even, you know, if they're on the mountain just steady going up and it's like a like flat surface. You can't stop the, you cannot stop the goat. You might slow the goat down, but that's the thing about being ruled by Saturn is Saturn will test you. Saturn will test you and test you and test you to ensure that you're willing to put in the work and you're not going to give up. And that's the thing about the Capricorn is that Capricorns tend to be really serious and kind of reserved early in life. And if you know any Capricorns, it's like they kind of bloom later in life. They're late bloomers. It's like mid 20s to like early 30s is when they finally start to come out of their shell. And you know, Capricorns are the, the types that are like still like partying, having fun, like later in life. It's like, as they, especially as they um, late 20s, early 30s, as they experience their um, first Saturn return, a lot of pressure is pulled off of them and they can finally start to relax into themselves. So out of like the whole zodiac, Capricorns age the best. They, it's like they get better with age and it's because they have struggled and been under restraint their entire life. So when they finally get to a point where they're stable within themselves um, and they don't feel controlled by others, they can really bloom and they start to um, 
it's like they just get more lighthearted. My uh, mom is a Capricorn sun. When I was like uh, young, she was so, <laughs> they were, my parents were super strict, but it more so came from my mom. She was like crazy strict. We had a really strained relationship because it's like, I am very like um, independent and kind of uh, <laughs> rebellious and impulsive at times. And she was not having it at all. And it's like, we constantly butt heads. And it was like, as soon as I kind of left the house and um, got to where she felt like I was okay. She like, <laughs> she came to visit me when I was living in another city and like got drunk, you know? And like, that was the first time that like, she kind of just started to let her guard down and have fun. And it's like, my mom is like a really good friend of mine now. Like I, I love spending time with her. She's a lot of fun to be around. And that's what people kind of say about her is that she's really funny, but people always like when you first meet her, she seems kind of cold and off putting, but she also has a, a Scorpio uh, rising. But um, that's kind of how Capricorns are. It's like, as they get older, they get more fun. Um, so it's like <laughs> trying to create chaos in the Capricorn's life. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on work. I'm a Capricorn. I like to work anyway. <laughs> I like to spend time alone anyway, you know, like whatever. <laughs> you, yeah, you use that time to three of pentacles, rebuild your foundation. Okay, well, I, I'm just going to focus on me and do me. And because you did that, you have a, a ace of cups, you have a renewed sense of love for yourself and you have new love coming in for you. That's so funny, Capricorn. I love that. I love that. <laughs> These people really thought that they were going to like stop the Capricorn by like isolating the Capricorn. No. <laughs> you want to enact the like dormant uh, fire within a Capricorn. Try to keep them down. <laughs> No, you will not. You will not ever win going against the Capricorn. You just won't because Capricorn won't give up. And that's the thing is that these people win against you and win against you and win against you. And it's, they're going to have to give up because the tower is about to fall where all of this energy that they've put into harming you because out of jealousy here is going to flip back onto them. And all of a sudden, people are going to start to recognize that, um, that yeah, seven of swords, ten of wands, that they were lying, that they were, uh, they were liars, they were cheats, they were just trying to get away. The seven of swords is um, a thief in the night. That's how these people are. Ten of wands, they're a burden. Not only did they try to burden you, they're burdening other people because it's like all they do is shit talk. All they do is like obsess and talk about the Capricorn, try to recruit people to help them go against the Capricorn here. <sighs> somebody is four of wands, four of pentacles. You have somebody that's wanting to come towards you and offer a serious relationship, Capricorn, because they don't want to let you go. They're wanting to apologize. Yeah, two of cups, it's a soulmate. You have a soulmate connection here that's wanting to come towards you. This person um, got hung up. They got hung up and slowed down from coming towards you. The hanged man, uh, Knight of Pentacles, could be a Taurus or a Pisces. They um, had other people in their life that were um, pulling them back. So, you know, they might have had a, a karmic here that was trying to get in their ear, poison this relationship. But they're starting to recognize now that they have to, uh, Four of Cups, re reject these people, a uh, Nine of Swords. And I get when that not only goes for this romantic partner that's wanting to come in towards you, it also goes for, um, again, Seven House is like long-term partnerships. I get that it's like anybody that listened to this like gossip, these lies that were told about you now, they're starting to recognize they're having, because the hanged man is like a, a revelation, a sudden realization that they need to, Knight of Swords, um, a Gemini energy, they need to cut off these people that have been um, talking bad about you. These people are getting rejected now. People are cutting them out of their life. And for some of you, um, there was a karmic that got in between a divine relationship. Yeah, death card. <laughs> for some of you, it was a Scorpio. <laughs> Did a Scorpio try to get in between? 
for some of you. <laughs> what the hell? For some of you, there is... For some reason, there is a Scorpio and there is a Leo. And the Scorpio was trying to keep the Leo away from you. And there, the Leo might have, because <laughs> it's like the chicken, you know. The Leo might have been scared to come towards you before because of the Scorpio. But, I mean, look at them. They're in a chokehold. <laughs> but also... Eighth house, the occult. There might have been, if it's not a, a literal Scorpio that was coming in between the spell work, somebody, you might have a, for some of you, it's a Leo wanting to come towards you. They had, a, they were in a chokehold with spell work. I'm so sorry. It's not funny. It's just this, like, why is this the Scorpio imagery? <laughs> what did the Leo ever do to the Scorpio? <laughs> The death card, Empress, yeah. It's because you're the Empress, Cap, or, you know, if you're a cross watcher, your person is the Empress. They they attract the attention. People know that this is the, like, the Empress is feminine energy, so it's the divine feminine passively attracts attention. It's like the Cap doesn't even have to, the Cap isn't, you know, trying to be flashy, isn't trying to get attention. The Cap just naturally attracts attention. Um, but somebody was doing... For some of you, they were doing spell work here to try to slow people down from coming to you, slow opportunities because they really thought that if they stalled, the Capricorn would give up. This person obviously has never really known a Capricorn. Knight of Wands. Um, for some of you, it's uh, an ex that was in and out of your life. Yeah. Could be a Sagittarius. For some of you, you had an ex that cheated that was in and out of your life, this person does not want you to move on. You're a page of wands. You're freeing yourself and moving forward. They're uh, stuck in the past. They they don't want you to move forward. Yeah, the emperor death card, the moon. For some of you, you are dealing with um, an Aries, a Scorpio, a Cancer. Yeah. I hope you can follow. This is, there is somebody from your past here that uh, had a player energy before. They they were in and out of your life. It might've been like a fuck buddy situation, a casual situation, friends with benefits. This person was not faithful to you. They were in and out of your life. There's somebody from your past and this person really did hurt you. You um, decided to move away from them and that situation ended. This person has um, hidden feelings towards you and they watch you and they wait because they're at a crossroads here. I don't get that this is, um, I don't get that this is a, uh, because I, I don't get that this is, there's somebody from your past wanting to come towards you. Yes. I don't get that this person that is in and out of your life, they're not the same person that's wanting you. you the devil. That's what I'm saying. It's like a karmic. This is a karmic or um, somebody that's very controlling of you because the emperor in a low vibration is wants to control it's like you have an ex here. Yeah, it's somebody that you might have um, been in a relationship with. You might have even, you might have been married to this person or they were married. Somebody like does not want you to move on Capricorn because they want to control you. This person is controlling and possessive. Um, and for some of you, they might have even been like going as far as doing like magic to try to keep you single here. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You have a long-term relationship forming. This is falling under the, the, <laughs> the Leo. I don't know, Cap. You have a long-term relationship here. Somebody that you might even marry. Yeah, what did I freaking say? They need to take a leap of faith, uh, judgment. They need to make a decision here. It's a, it's a Leo. 
They don't necessarily have to be a Leo Sun. They might have Leo somewhere in their chart, like a, a Leo Venus especially, or a Leo Mars. That's what is here. That is... <laughs> Leo Scorpio, Leo Scorpio. Uh, if you're dealing with a Leo and a Scorpio, stay the hell away from the Scorpio. That Scorpio is just trying to block you from move forward because they want to control you. Yeah, let that cycle end here. You're going to be victorious. Something is about to come in for you. For a lot of you, again, it's a relationship here, Hierophant. It's a long-term relationship. Could also be like somebody that you marry. Eight of Swords, Five of Swords. The people that went against you, the narcissist energy that wanted to outdo you, wanted to defeat you, control you, they're in spiritual gel. The world card from Saturn. Saturn is about to... Saturn is... Uh, <laughs> is the parent of the uh, Capricorns. <laughs> Why would you think that you're going to fuck with a Capricorn and not have Saturn on your ass? Basically, uh, <laughs> Big Daddy Saturn is about to show up. Saturn goes back direct uh, beginning of October. Yeah, these people are going to be sorry. Five of Cups, they're going to be sorry for what they did. Nine of Swords, they're going to be anxious and sorry for what they did because it's going to start to flip back on them. I'm telling you, Capricorn, if you had specifically, if you had people doing magic on you, beginning of October you're about to see all of a sudden it's like any pressure you've been feeling is going to be off of you like finances through the roof people are going to want to hang out with you like you're going to be glowing and somebody is coming in wanting to offer you a relationship and you're going to see when this happens it's like all of that negative energy that you were feeling that isolation that struggle is going to flip on to times you know whatever you believe it's about to flip back onto the people that were trying to harm you. And it's going to, um, I say tenfold, but you know, it, it depends. It depends on the school of thought, but it's about to flip back onto these people. And I'm telling you, when it does, they're going to be pissed and try to come after you. But like, you're going to be doing well. Why would, don't bother with them. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Eight of, I told you, they're in jail. They're in, look, <laughs> Cupid just cut their head off. <laughs> I'm telling you, Cupid has had enough because this is a destined relationship. This is, um, for some of you, this is the person you were meant to marry. This is the person you were meant to marry, have a family with. You have a soul contract to be with this person. Not only be with this person, but like wealth too, generational wealth. Um, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> Cupid has joined the spiritual war at this point. Off with these people's heads. That's crazy. It's a, it's a third party here. I told you there's about to be a will of fortune. There's about to be a turn in fate. Things are about to pop off. It's like any dark energy that this third party has been putting onto you is about to flip back onto them and they're in spiritual jail. So it's like they're, they're not going to be able to go. I mean, if they go back to the practitioner, any practitioner with any type of like genuine divination ability is not going to touch them. And those that are are going to get fucked up because the spell is going to flip back immediately, like blow back immediately. It's not going to touch you. This is about to pop off. <laughs> I'm telling you. How bad is it when Cupid... <laughs> It's because you, the Hierophant, you have, it is your destiny to be with this person. You're meant to be with this person. You have a soul contract to fulfill. And this third party has been trying to come in between just because they're jealous. Page of Swords, High Priestess, Five of Swords. And you know what the worst part is, is they know it. They know it. For some of them, the Page of Swords, they're gathering information from the High Priestess. Some of them are like going to Tara, why aren't my spells working anymore? Why, why do I feel this dread coming on me? And they found out that it's about to blow back on them and there's literally nothing that they can do here. Yeah, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. It's they tried to, <laughs> I told you, it's like, you know, it's like the Calvary is coming in. Your angels, your ancestors are coming in and about to fuck shit up here. Four pentacles. They tried to hold you back from these new offers coming in. 
and it, it's not it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen that's crazy yeah i'm telling you saturn the angels it's about to <laughs> i'm telling you guys october it's gonna if it's not at the beginning if it's not immediately when saturn goes direct it's gonna be during Corpus uh, scorpio scorpio season yeah five of cups temperance the world these people are going to be sorry they are going to be sorry they might even try to come and apologize to you because temperance your angelic team is not having it anymore the world it's over it is over saturn is here and no it's done sun the death card the devil yeah they've been exposed these people that play with spell work that, that were, you know, getting away with murder before, they're going to be exposed as the devil. They are. It's only, it's a ticking time bomb at this point. It is. They know it's done. They know it's over. They're trying to run and do more spells. It's not working here. It's not. Follow your intuition and move forward because you have a new beginning. You have money and a new relationship coming towards you. This cycle is over, Ten of Swords. It's done. It's done. <laughs> yeah. Queen of Swords, off with their heads. <laughs> off with their heads, guys. I like that. Yeah, you're moving into smoother waters away from these people. Especially if somebody was doing magic on you, they are about to get fucked up. And the thing is, is they know it. Some of them went to a tarot reader and asked, why are my spells not working anymore? Why am I, why do I go cast a spell to, you know, make the Capricorn gain weight and I'm gaining weight? Why are my spells backfiring? And the uh, the reader told them, it's about to come back towards you. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. This is fate. This is fated. These people are, uh, the spotlight is on them. The sun, death card, the devil. Yep. And for some of you, I'm telling you, the devil is Capricorn and the death card is Scorpio. For some of you, it was a Scorpio that was doing this shit. They are about to get exposed. And it, it's a thing where they're about, they can't stop it. It's too late. There's nothing that they can do to stop it. Yeah. Uh, Eight of Cups. Continue to walk away from it because Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups. You are about to, uh, Nine of Cups is wishes fulfilled. Uh, Eight of Wands is uh, rapid, rapid movement. You are about to see all of your blessings come in all at once. And I'm telling you, don't even like, don't even try to see what's going on with these people that went against you. But I'm telling you, it's like, <laughs> while your wildest dreams are coming true, their world is going to be crumbling. Every single bit of dark energy they have sent towards you is flipping back on them soon soon and it's just a matter of time and i i get none of the spells are working anymore capricorn you don't have to worry about it if you've been dealing with spells none of them are working anymore i get that these karmics are going into overdrive because you know they hear you can't do anything about it it's gonna happen it's faded no they're like well i'm just gonna go to the next you know <laughs> i'm gonna go to the other practitioner i'm gonna keep you know somebody's gonna tell me yes mm -mm, it's too late all right, guys. I'm good. I loved that. That was fun. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Love that energy. Yeah, off with their heads. <laughs> so, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna name it that. Uh, <laughs> love you all. See you soon. Bye.